hope everybody's having a wonderful day or as wonderful as can be under the circumstances. You know, it has been a very tough road for many of our friends, neighbors, and, you know, our hearts and prayers go out to those who have lost their jobs, incomes, businesses as a result of coronavirus. And as we continue to weather the storm and shelter in place, you know, we are so very blessed and reflect on how blessed we are, not only to have additional time with family and loved ones, but also for some swift action by our legislators. And not to get into anything political, but the fact of the matter is that, that relief plans are underway, that, that uh, evictions are frozen, that there are a lot of things that have been done to to take the pain out of the immediacy of this disaster. And I think we're going to see more of that to come. But this is just a quick message about positivity and maintaining some mental health focus. You know, I think it's critical every day, especially at times like this, to wake up and write down your goals. Sometimes those goals can be more than things that you aspire to and certainly ought to be more than things you aspire to acquire. And by that, I mean self-development, self-improvement, becoming the best version of yourself and reminding yourself that you're only in competition with the you of yesterday. And also another reminder that Taking action now, being decisive now is more important probably than ever because as I have gotten older, this is something I definitely learned that I'm never going to be as young as I am now and I'm the oldest I've ever been. So taking action, being decisive is to, in my mind, more critical now than possibly it's ever been. And if I can if I can spread that message to younger folks, especially younger folks who, you know, are struggling through this, you know, high school graduates, college graduates, what's this going to do to their job pro prospects? This, this is, you know, a, it's a global disaster unlike one we've seen in a century. And, you know, many of us have been through natural disasters of some kind or another a hurricane, a tornado, what have you. But to see something that is so globally impactful uh, that threatens public health, for that matter, and even more importantly, social interaction, mental health, you know, it's going to take some time to dig out of this. But storms pass. And right now, we don't know if this is a storm that is losing energy and then will eventually dissipate has it peaked in your community, in your city, in your county, uh, you know, wherever you may be? And, you know, how soon is the storm going to be blown away by some by some spring weather or some summer weather? And that is a difficult question and time will tell. And, you know, the best thing to do is to focus on your own self-improvement, writing those goals every day, getting up, adding discipline to your life, not removing it, you know, taking pride in simple things like your appearance, your professional work product, developing whatever that line of education, line of business, line of work, line of service that you intend to bring. You have extra time to focus on that and develop out and bring out new lines, new products, new goals, new things to aspire to. And more importantly, focusing on slowing down and focusing on one's self-improvement a little bit. And don't, don't fail to take advantage of that as best you can under the circumstances. Anyhow, we're thinking about all of you. Stay safe. We'll see you out on the road as soon as we possibly can. But for a while, social distancing is going to require even that be curtailed. So... Thank you again for watching. Please like, subscribe, and share if you have any questions or comments. You know, we're always welcome to those. We'll make them the subject of a subsequent video series, or we'll reply to you in a direct message. Thank you very much. Stay safe, everyone.